We were a little a little disappointed, um, you know, that he didn't run better. But to be fair to him, he had his excuses. He was drawn wide. There wasn't a, uh, there was a bit of a lack of pace as well. I think, um, you know. So I I think we could have done with a little bit better setup. Plus he was coming off a layoff. So you know, we're hoping he's been doing really well since. So I'm hoping he can turn it around on the big day. I would think so, yeah, because, um, you know, he he probably he's an older horse now and he's probably um, needing a run off the layoff and he may have needed that. So hopefully, um, you know, his his second run uh, last this last year um, off the layoff for us was his best run. So if he can repeat that, um, the race in Woodbine, then he, it shouldn't put him too far away. Yeah, no, he's a cool horse. He's very straightforward. He hasn't hasn't missed a beat since uh, since he came out here. You know, we kind of backed off of him ourselves um, at the end of last year just because. Um, but no, very straightforward and, and works away good. We worked him on the dirt the other day and he actually worked pretty good on the dirt. So um, so we were glad to see that. So, you know, he's he's doing well anyway and that's all we can hope for. Ah well, it's it's great. It was a great concept, you know. Um, it's a it's a it's a great day's racing in you know during the winter. It's one of the highlights of of the winter program, and it's really really come on in leaps and bounds.